what's up everybody it's maria michelle and i am back with another youtube video okay so this is my first youtube video of the summer my last youtube video was like you know senior year stuff and i probably have some more videos from senior year that i might just dump out um you know you never really know with me i'm a i'm a loose cannon i'm not gonna lie um, but so far I'm not saying anything else that I'm gonna drop about senior year because babe, I'm ready to move on from senior year, okay? The summer has already started, I already graduated, and within three months I will be on campus at my next stop, which is the Tennessee State University, also known as Turn State University. So coming soon, coming soon. Y'all know that I definitely got y'all for welcome week and freshman week, okay? Tap in with the girl. So, today's video is how to to a perfect summer. Now, y'all, there is no such thing as a perfect. However, I have 12 tips for y'all for y'all to have an amazing summer because I ain't gonna lie, personally, summer just started for three weeks. But it's already been a little bit amazing, okay? My num my first thing. Oh, and by the way, here my with my luxurious iPad. Now, y'all, I'm probably gonna post this link. Um I'm not gonna post the link, but I'm probably gonna put this on Pinterest. So if I put this on Pinterest and I put it on a pin, I will post the link and I'm probably gonna, you know, list the entire list in the description. So first thing first, make memories, okay? Make memories because if you a senior like me and you going into your freshman year of college, this is your last this is your last summer as a minor if you're not already 18. Or period. This is your last summer before you actually get into high school. Please make some memories. Like I don't care if your memories is literally running through Target with your friends, which I actually just did yesterday. Make some memories, have some things to smile and laugh about because once you move away for college, you gonna miss your people's here. That's all I'm gonna say. You gonna miss your people's here unless your people's is going with you. If your people's is going with you, you know, kudos to you, boo. All right, number two, capture the memories. I know all of us have a phone. All of us have a phone. But you know, get a Polaroid, get a Canon, get a Sony, get some type of form where you can literally capture pictures. I don't care if you gotta put it on a SIM card and that you just, even if you just save the SIM card and you don't even open it until like the end of the summer, do that. Print out pictures from your phone. Like uh, there's an app called Snapfish where you can get a hundred pictures for free and all you have to do is pay the shipping. Do stuff like that so that you won't forget this summer because I know last summer, that's exactly what I did. I basically took pictures of every single memory that I could last summer and then I printed them out and now I keep them literally all in like a little memory basket. So, you know, you should do you should do things like that because I actually like, I, will, I get a little giggle every now <laughs> Every now and then when I look back at like some of my memories from last summer. So I'm really hoping this summer will be the same way. Number three, get out of your comfort zone. Please get out of your comfort zone. Like if you don't usually go to parties, please get out of your comfort zone. Like if you don't usually go to parties, go to a party anyways. Go out, get out the house. Because the last thing you want is for the next school year to come and then you looking around, you like, damn, I had a I had a shitty boo-boo summer while everybody else was outside making memories. Please get out your comfort zone. Please go actually have some fun. Please don't sit in the house all day. Do something that you know makes you feel alive and gives you like a new feeling, a new pizzazz. Okay. Number four go on a date now i know people saw my son we all ain't got boyfriends we all ain't got girlfriends girl nobody cares go on a date anyways okay even if it's not you don't have to always go on a date with somebody romantically you can go on platonic dates go on a date with your friends literally go out with your friends go sit on the beach with your friends and you know have a fresco eat some food together make memories together paint together do something with your homies that you know is just like a thing where it can be like you can look back years later, be like y'all remember that time we went to the beach and we was all paying and drinking on the beach that was a good time you're gonna want to have memories like that i i promise you those are 
some of the best like core memories when it comes to friends um number five take yourself on a date um me personally i go on self dates all the time like when i get too stressed out between like my work schedule and my gym schedule i'll just be like you know what forget it today is about me i'm gonna go get a facial i'm gonna go get a massage i'm gonna go get my feet done and i'm gonna take myself out to eat and don't be afraid to eat at a dinner table by yourself please don't be afraid to eat a dinner table hey, eat at a dinner table for your by yourself because spending time by yourself can most times be better than spending time with other people and I don't people like I can sit in my room. Sitting in your room, spending time by yourself is very different than actually taking yourself out. That's why, you know, personally, I always say, you know, treat yourself how you want somebody else to treat you. So if you're not even ready to be dating yet, still treat yourself how you will want to be treated if you was actually in a relationship at the moment. So, you know, you want flowers? You, you prefer dudes or girls to get you flowers? Go to the store and get yourself flowers. So then it can be like, hey, I'm not asking you for nothing that I don't already do for myself. Period. The next thing is go to a day party. Number six, go to a day party. Y'all, I'm an old lady. I am not gonna lie and I fall asleep anywhere. But one thing I do love is a good day party. And by day party, I mean like two to eight. Maybe one to six. A good day party on a Saturday will forever hit harder to me than being at the club all night. Because personally, being at the club all night, it gets high, it gets a little stinky. Sometimes people just get too drunk or too high. And me personally, I just feel like, uh, you know, night, nighttime parties are definitely messier than day parties. You know, when they say the freaks come out at night, they are not lying. They're not, they're not lying. They're very serious, okay? The freaks do come out at night. And, you know, I just feel like during the day, less, less bull crap can happen during the day, if you know what I mean. So go to a good day party. And if you can't find a day party, look, colleges have day parties all the time. Colleges have day parties all the time. So if it's a popular college in your state that don't got too much drama, and you know, like, you know, like, University of Michigan having a day party on Sunday, we going out there, we gonna be in the field go enjoy yourself because nine times out of ten you have the most fun at parties when you and your friends like personally decide to have fun don't be waiting for other groups of people to have fun at the party make sure you and your people is having fun at the party okay number seven pull a all-nighter now me personally i ain't pulling no all-nighter because i'm a grandma okay once the clock gets to two i'm ready to go to bed literally However, if you can make it through and pull an all-nighter with your homies, make it happen. Because I wish that was something I could actually do. And I know it's like, Maria, how you gonna tell us to do something that you can't even do? Because I want y'all to be better than me. Because <laughs> personally, I can't do all that. I love my sleep. But if you can pull an all-nighter, pull an all-nighter and capture it too. I'm talking like, funny videos crazy pictures all that literally number eight attend a cookout you know i don't know why people don't go to the cookouts no more but i love a good cookout with my uncle or my dad or my mom and nephew or somebody is grilling you know go to where the grills is at if you know your people is having a cookout go to the cookout don't be acting like it's too lame don't be acting like you too um too sadity or like the people's is too lame for you to pull up and get some ribs and some chickens with some yams on the side and collard greens go enjoy yourself at that cookout and have a good time even if the bad kids is running around you make sure you have a good time number nine learn it to me a hustle especially if you black learn it to me a hustle okay we we too old to not know the to me a hustle and if you don't know it personally or you feel like somebody's not going to take the time to teach you, girl, you're on YouTube right now. Go learn it. Right now. Okay? You too grown to not know the Tamiya hustle. Period. Next. Number 10. Buy reasonable clothes. Please buy reasonable clothes. 
every year i feel like a bunch of people buy summer clothes that are not reasonable like it's one thing to have clothes to go out in you need clothes that are reasonable for everyday life like more than just going out to a party or going out to a club or going to a fancy dinner you need reasonable fashionable clothes clothes that can just never go wrong on a casual day buy reasonable clothes and buy them within your means because you won't regret it i still have reasonable clothes from three summers ago that i'm still re-wearing and just like mitch matching it with other stuff you know get get with that program because you don't want to constantly buy clothes that you know you're not going to actually wear because then you just end up buying a stock of clothes and as soon as you hate them you're just going to automatically throw them away when you know you could have saved your money you could have saved your time and then most of y'all throw away clothes instead of donating them please start donating y'all clothes if y'all not already donating them and i'm not talking about hand me downs to your family i'm talking about literally take them to the goodwill and some some stores that take hand me down clothes will pay you to have your clothes so you know make some quick cash if you're gonna be throwing away clothes like that number 11 buy smell goods especially my ladies but my gentlemen too buy smell goods okay the one thing about the summer is look good smell good like you should smell so good that when you're walking downtown or wherever you're at you walk past somebody random and they just get a whiff and be like who is that you know who is that that just walked past me smelling like that that's how you should smell and if y'all need some me to make a youtube video of some cologne and perfumes or lotions and stuff for the summer i swear i got y'all because one place i stay at is sephora okay at this point they need to sponsor me because every time i go in there i'm spending half a bean, which is a big problem which i'm working on also save money that's not even on this list but save money in the summer okay last but not least have a routine number 12 have a routine i'm telling y'all a routine is so important one thing i found about last summer was i had a routine but it was a forced routine because last summer i was going into my senior year of high school so i was on the cheer team which is it was my senior year on the cheer team and at my school cheer practice starts in the summer and it goes into the school year for football season period so, you know, I would go to work in the morning. Uh, I would eat at work. I would eat again after work. Then I would go to practice. I would come home, eat again, and then shower. That was my daily routine, um, five, five days a week, actually. But now that I've graduated high school and I no longer have the desire to be a student athlete, I am finally, like, stepping into that part of my life where it's like, you know, my routine is my responsibility. I'm not being forced no more to stay on the team. This is just my responsibility. Um, everybody's routine is going to be different because everybody's life schedule is different. But um, me personally, um, I go to work three days a week. Um, the earliest is nine. The latest will be 11. And the latest I will get off is four. Um, after that, I'll come home, I'll shower, and I might go out with my friends. Usually I always have plans after work because it is summer, so we just have stuff to do. So if I'm not going to work a certain morning, I'll eat breakfast, I'll go to the gym for an hour. I'll come home and shower. I'll make sure that I eat again because you know, when you eat and you go to the gym, you did just burn calories. Like you need to eat again. I clean, clean your room once a day. I know it's like, why would I clean my room once a day? That means cleaning my room every day. I'm not saying deep clean your entire room. I'm just saying, don't let your personal living space just look like hell all week. And then you just gonna keep cleaning your room every Sunday because that's what i used to do during the school year but that was during the school year because you know when you're in school like it's way heavier than just managing you know going to the gym and going to work so um uh, i understand during the school year you know you're gonna be messy all week and then you just don't clean it sunday i get that but during the summer these is different times like during the summer there's there's always a portion out of the day where you're probably sitting in your room during the summer or if not every day at least every other day Clean your room as you go throughout the day, honestly. I'm telling y'all, it's a way better feeling to clean your room before you leave the house and to come home from a long night with your homegirls and just jump straight into bed. 
it's, it's, it's just it's a very relieving feeling so you know after I come home and clean, I'm probably not going to say I'm probably going to have plans and I go out and have plans and I enjoy myself. But the fact of the fact is I'm still dedicating, my, um, dedicating myself to that morning that I plan for myself because that plan, that daily routine that you have already mentally is going to help you so much. I swear, like, if you had a bad night, it's okay because you finna get up and you finna go to the gym. You finna thug it out real quick on the treadmill or whatever. You finna come home. You finna clean your space and you finna recollect while you do all of that. So, me personally, I'm always telling my friends, you know, have a routine. And start taking vitamins as well. Put vitamins in your daily routines because I know it's like, what I need to take vitamins for? I'm 17, I'm 18, I'm 16, I'm young, you know? Girl, young people bodies can fail too, especially that immune system. We still going through a pandemic technically. You know, even if you got to drink an emergency vitamin C every day, do what you have to do and take vitamins that benefit what you want in your body. Like, you want a better immune system? Vitamin C, echinacea, period. You want stronger bones? Vitamin D. You uh, want a better urinary tract, like more help down there. Cranberry. I mean, you just have to do your own research for what you want for your body. So, now that we've gone through all 12 things on the list, that actually brings this video to an end. Um, I hope y'all like the list. I hope y'all appreciated this little quick video. And I'm definitely going to have more stuff coming soon. So I'm going to tap in with y'all later. Bye.